everyone welcome back to how Techs. today we're going to show you how to set up a personal wi-fi hotspot on this iphone 14. this is the purple one so first i want to give a caveat not every cell phone plan allows this so i'm going to show you on a plan that does if yours doesn't show this it might be because your plan doesn't allow it but you can always switch plans or maybe call up your carrier and get it turned on so okay let's get to the settings menu is this concentric gears one click that and then you want to go to personal hotspot it should show up here and if you've never set it up before you have to turn it on and then there'll be a default password which is obviously very hard to tell anyone so you can always erase that and say like uh, a b c d e f now you have a couple options here uh, basically you can maximize compatibility which maybe makes it a little bit slower, but it will work with more devices. I've actually noticed this works, like when I'm trying to connect non-Apple devices to my hotspot. Besides setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can also have a, basically a Bluetooth hotspot, connect through Bluetooth and share this cellular connection through Bluetooth or through a cable. So just keep those in mind. So that's basically how you turn it on and set the password, but there's other ways of basically controlling it. So if you go back up here and anytime, any place, pull down and then you press on this, you can see that there's basically personal hotspot. You can turn it on and be discoverable. And then in that case, you're basically disconnected from Wi-Fi. Like if I was on Wi-Fi, uh, because you're becoming a Wi-Fi hotspot. And also if you go to airplane mode, your Wi-Fi is turned off and so is your hotspot. So if I come back on, I can have it there and discoverable. So the key thing between discoverable and not discoverable, I think is if a phone has connected to this hotspot before, it's, it's like doesn't need to rediscover it. But if it's a fresh one that's never seen it before, you have to turn on discoverability. Basically, um, once an iPhone connects to another iPhone, it's kind of like uh, shortlisted or recognized uh, so that like the hotspot pops up all the time. It's like, would you like to join this one? So yeah, just keep that in mind. I have it on my computer all the time. If there's no Wi-Fi, it says, would you like to connect to your iPhone, in this case, 14 hotspot, and then just click yes. So one other thing I forgot to mention is the name of your phone and how to set it. So when you go here, it actually says like, tell people to choose iPhone 14 when they're looking to connect to this. And that name actually comes in general, and then about, and then name. So you can call it like Bob's iPhone 14 or whatever, so that you can recognize it between your hotspot and other people's hotspots. One last one, there's actually also a shortcut for it under cellular, and it's here and it goes to the same place. So I don't know why it's listed twice, but it's basically here and it's up here. And if you don't see it, it's because your carrier doesn't allow it. You switch to another SIM that does, you'll see it pop up. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks guys, see you next time, bye. Everyone, welcome back to Hotex. Today we have a hot off the presses iPhone 13 Pro Max dual physical SIM Hong Kong version. And today I'm gonna to show you how to insert and remove